You're listening to the Hope Company Podcast. Our mission is that you're refreshed, restored, and released. Check back each week for new messages, and we hope that you are encouraged by the Word today.
perfect plea A great high priest whose name is love Whoever lives and pleads for me My name is graven on his hands My name is written on his heart I know that while in heaven he stands No tongue can beat me that's deep heart No tongue can beat me that's deep Tells me of the guilt within Upward I look and see him there Who made an end of all my sin Because a sinless Savior died My sinful soul is counted free For God the just
Father, we thank you so much for a time of worship. God, we pray that you would bless us as we open up your word. Our prayers always is that you would breathe on us today, God. We need to feel the breath of heaven today. God, speak to us in and through your word today. Encourage us. Challenge us. Convict us. God, we love you. We honor you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say, amen. 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 Can we give it over for our worship team again? Y'all help me out just for a minute. It used to be a kid's song learned back in Sunday school. Come on, somebody. Some of y'all are like, what's Sunday school? See, Sunday school was, <laughs> I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later. It used to go, I may never. Oh, come on. May never. I'm in, don't cut it off. Don't cut it off. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yeah. Some of y'all like, I don't know what y'all saying. I'm in. Come on, come on, keep it. Tree riding. I may never zoom on the air, but I. Come on, right? Some of y'all are like, what did I just walk into? <laughs> hey, we have fun here. If we're not going to do anything else, no, we're going to have fun and we're going to share with you Jesus. Amen. Amen? But as I was thinking about and putting together this message, that song came to mind. And as you look at the scriptures, we are a part of the Lord's army. Those of us who have accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior and has submitted ourselves to the lordship of his life, we're in the Lord's army. We're under his authority. Huh? What are you saying, Pastor? Huh? Second Timothy. Huh? One, four right there. It says this, endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. He said, as a good soldier, he, he calls us soldiers. He says, soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life. They don't have time for it. We're going to talk about this in a minute. For then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. And so as a soldier, we have a story. As a soldier, we have a story to tell. We have a, a testimony to live out. So we're going to walk through a few things. And so if you got your notes, man, get your pencil ready, get your phone ready, because I, I got to give you a few things that the Lord uh, laid on my heart to share with you, all right? And the first thing is, be strong. Everybody say, be strong. Be strong. I know that's super deep. Huh? But I need y'all to, to, to follow me uh, real quick. Be strong. It says, he writes in the first part of it, it says, Timothy, my dear son. Now, understand this. Y'all will look at me real quick. Let me give you some background. Paul, this guy named Paul, and, and let me teach it like you'd never known it. This guy named Paul used to hate Jesus. Paul had an encounter with Jesus one day, and his life was never the same. The apostle Paul is responsible for writing two-thirds of the New Testament as you read it, Okay? So as you get 
you know, over the first and second Corinthians of Galatians, Ephesians, right, Colossians. Paul wrote all of that. And so Paul is, is nearing death, and he knows it. And he's writing to Timothy, who is his son in the ministry. And he's pouring all this stuff into Timothy, right? He's pouring all this stuff into him. And so he says, Timothy, my dear son, be strong. Everybody say, be strong. Be strong. Through the grace that God gives you in Christ Jesus. Now, I told you right here, be strong. Now, let me help you guys understand this. Because sometimes we think being strong is about resisting. But can I help you? I believe being strong is more about submission. Ooh, somebody write that down. Tweet that. Uh, it's more about submission than it is resistance. See, this world will tell you that you, 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 you're strong if you stand up against things, if you resist things. Now, understand this. Now, there are some injustices in this world that we don't need to be silent about. And as God's people, uh, there is righteous indignation, things that ought to make us angry as God's people. When we see injustice, right? But I believe true strength is when I can submit myself. When I can submit myself to the authority that God has placed over me. Oh, come on, right? Huh? We're not talking about that physical strength. Ooh, okay. Huh? We're talking about that spiritual strength, right? Are we talking about, can, can, I, can I submit myself to the authority? And when I go to the job on Tuesday, thank God for the day off on Monday. When I go to the job on Tuesday, can I submit myself to the authority that is over me? Why? Because that's what God said. Can I submit myself to the things and show grace when grace, when, when we don't necessarily feel like grace is deserved? When somebody says something evil to me, can I submit myself to what Jesus says and not return evil for evil? See, I believe true strength is not in that resistance because, again, in the physical, that's how you build muscle. That's how you get strong, have something resisting you when you're lifting weights, right? But in the spiritual, man, it's about submission. That's how I'm strong. Can you submit to the Lord? See, somebody, you're walking through something right now, and God is just building your spiritual muscle. Oh, come on. Somebody should have shouted amen right there. Huh? God is just building your spiritual muscle. Can you just submit yourself to it? Can you, can you be strong? See, saints of God, soldiers of God, we need to be strong. Why? Because other soldiers are watching us. Huh? Come on, right? And so if the other soldiers see you mouthing off at the corporal, come on, somebody. I don't even know if I'm right or not. I've never been in the army. See you mouthing off up your superior, huh? Guess what they're going to do? They're going to at least try it. May not end well. See, soldiers of God, God is, people are watching you. They're watching every move you make. They're watching every word you say, right? And so you have to be strong. Submit yourself. Don't get caught up in what other people say, and get your, especially at the job. Come on. Get caught over, over in the corner, right? Yeah, y'all know you ain't. Y'all know, right? And then everybody talking and mumbling and everybody bad. Everybody mad at the job. Come on. Soldiers, don't get caught up in that. We ain't got time for it. Yes, sir. Oh. He said, Timothy, my son, be strong through the grace that God gives you in Christ. Man, look, God, through Christ, God has given us love that we don't deserve. Amen. And y'all know what we should do as good soldiers? We ought to extend that love to somebody else. Ooh, come on, that's better than y'all shouting. Huh? Right? Because I've received that great grace. I ought to be able to extend it to somebody else. Hmm? Don't withhold God's grace. I'll be strong. He says, you've heard me teach these things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. 
Now share these truths with trustworthy people. All right? This is the next thing I want to share. Take it down. Share truth. Everybody say share truth. There's nothing worse than truth withheld. I'm just scanning the room. Can I be honest with you guys? Sometimes in some situations, the hardest thing to do is to speak truth. Especially sometimes it's hard to speak the truth of Jesus Christ sometimes in certain situations. Huh? Because y'all know what we do? In our minds, like, well, who am I really to say something? Or didn't the enemy bring up all of our past stuff? <laughs> right? And, and we don't feel like, oh, well, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm just, I'm just stay quiet. It ain't even worth saying. Huh? There's absolutely nothing worse than truth with hell. See, if I, don't, if I don't tell you the truth, then I'm not helping you. Huh? Now, I'm not saying that you have the authority to go and tell somebody off because we think that's telling them the truth. Huh? I gave them a piece of my mind. I told them you ain't got to be going. And then you, huh? We roll out in there. Come on, somebody, right? Huh? Jesus says this. It says in the scriptures, let your words be full of grace, seasoned with salt. Salt bay. Come on. So I ought to be able to speak the truth in love. Huh? Hey, brother, you said this the other day. And I need to tell you, according to the scriptures. Hey, sister, you did this the other day, and I need to speak truth to you. See, I've never been in the army, but I believe that, you know, telling the truth is important. It has to be important in the army, right? It has to be important in the military. It has to be, right? Because how can I trust you? If you're my commander, how can I trust you if you're not speaking truth to me? And then vice versa, if you're under me, how can I I trust you if you're not telling me the truth? So truth is important. Share truth. He says, you have heard me teach these things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. Now, share these truths. It didn't say keep them to yourself. What did he say? Share these truths with trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others. See, y'all, this is how the gospel gets passed on. Amen? That we share the truth. Hey, parents, let me talk to you. Share the truth of the gospel with your kids. Right? Two things I've asked our, our people in the back to do, I hope co kids leaders to do. Number one, share the truth of Jesus. And number two, have fun. Okay? In that order. Share the truth. Parent, don't be afraid to share the truth. Bring them up in the way they should go. And then I I hope and I I desire that God will fulfill his word. And as you share the truth with them, guess what? They'll share the truth. And then as you share the truth with your friends, right? Then they'll share the truth. And the truth will continue to be shared. Now share these truths with trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others. Next thing for you real quick. And this is not a popular one. Endure suffering. Everybody say endure suffering. suffering. Look at me. Suffering cannot be avoided. It can only be endured. Suffering cannot be avoided. It can only be endured. We live in a fallen world. Since Eve took up the apple or the, or the fruit, we say apple, took up the fruit and she gave it to Adam and he ate of the fruit, sin and into the, entered into the world. So we live in a fallen world and there's suffering in this world and there's suffering on various levels. Let me, let me help you guys on this. There's suffering on various levels because sometimes we think uh, just because somebody's going through a minor thing that that's not really suffering, that I have to actually be starving or, or being going through something in, in order for it to be so. But that's not true. Huh? That's not true. Like if somebody is talking about me and running down my name, look, I'm I'm experiencing some form of suffering. Huh? 
Because sometimes I stay up overnight worrying about this, trying to figure this thing out. Come on, y'all, gotta, y'all better help me. It's suffering. They're suffering on different levels. But, but he, Paul writes to Timothy, right, as a good soldier in Christ, you have to endure suffering. Huh? You got to be able to take it on. Come on. Huh? You got to endure suffering. You can't go running. Ah, you can't run away from it. Come on, y'all. This is an interactive sermon. You can't run away from it. Huh? You got to be able to take it on, right? Now, even if it knocks you to your knees, uh, that's the best place to be. Come on, somebody. Huh? You got to be able to endure suffering. You can't run away from this. You can't give up on life. Look at me, somebody. Somebody, you needed that right there. Don't give up on life. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Huh? Endure it. Endure suffering. Paul tells Timothy, endure suffering along with me. See, and I love this because if you go back to when Paul met, met Jesus and his life was changed, this is what Jesus said about Paul. I must show him what he must suffer for my name's sake. He didn't say, I'm going to show him how great and glorious sharing the gospel is going to be. Huh? I ain't show him that it's going to be Disney World unicorns and Skittles. And you're going to be dancing down the yellow brick road. No. He said, I'm going to show him what he's going to suffer for my name's sake. Jesus said, man, this is going to be suffering. And in this life, there's going to be suffering. But be of good cheer. Jesus said, for I have overcome the world. He says, endure suffering along with me. Paul, he's in chains. He's about to die. And here's this guy who was putting people in prison because they follow Christ. Now he's in prison for following Christ, and he's about to die for the cause of the gospel. He says, endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Now, I've never been in the military here. I keep saying that over and over again because I want to make it clear. Huh? But I've seen some training, and I know they do. They endure some suffering, all right? I've seen some documentaries of war, and I know there's some suffering. Huh? It can't be avoided. It can only be endured. Huh? Somebody hang on to that word today. Endure suffering as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. See, the great promise that we have, he says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Huh? Even while you're suffering, guess what? I'm there. Huh? Even though you don't think I'm there and I and might just be silent. You think I'm silent? I'm, I'm there. I'm there and I'm working on your behalf. Endure it. Huh? Come on, y'all. Take it on. Endure suffering. Last thing I'm going to share with you real quick. You have to remember that you're soldiers, not civilians. You're soldiers, not civilians. Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. Huh? See, if I get tangled up in the affairs of this life, I lose focus and I can't fulfill my calling. Mm, That was good, Pastor. Say it again. See, if I get tangled up in the affairs of this life, huh? I will lose my focus and I cannot fulfill the calling that God has on my life. Again, think about it. I mean, a a soldier, while he's at war, right, he can't be worrying about the light bill. Huh? No, not if I'm locked in on the target. I can't be worrying about the light bill. Huh? I can't be worrying about how many likes I got on Instagram if I'm locked in. We laugh, but it doesn't make sense, right? We laugh, but, but but watch this. Look at the stuff that we worry about every single day that's not heaven or hell issues. Somebody, you walked in here mad. Maybe your air condition didn't work when you got in the car today. Huh? Come on, somebody, right? Huh? Or 
or, or, or maybe your curlers didn't work, didn't get heated up for you this morning. Come on, ladies. I don't know. I ain't got that problem. Huh? But, but, but maybe your mind so far has been taken away over something that's so small that is not a heaven or hell. It's, it's a worldly issue, and we're so focused on these things that we miss out on all that God has for us. You can't be focused on civilian affairs. It's like, okay, yeah, I understand, but I'm not letting that steal my joy. Ooh, come on, somebody, right? Huh? Yeah, I understand that, and I understand that this happened to me, but I'm not going to let that steal my joy. Huh? Because I'm a soldier. I'm going to endure the suffering. I'm going to go through tough times, but I know that God is with me. You got to remember that you're soldiers, not civilians. See, and I said it just a few minutes ago, let me say it again. See, we have to make up in our minds, if it's not heaven or hell, I'm not going to let it occupy my, man, my mind space. Are y'all with me on that? Now, I ain't, we can't help to think about some things. Don't get me wrong. I'm, come on, right? Y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying, though, right? Huh? But we allow ourselves to be taken away by some things, by a lot of things that, man, it's not going to go with me to, to heaven. Somebody, your mind, even today, is just, and you're like, you're, you're trying to figure out that light bill. You're trying to figure out that car. Can I, can I speak real with y'all? My air conditioner is in and out. Huh? And if I allow it to, it could bother me. But thank the Lord I got windows. <laughs> Automatic windows. Not the roll down. Huh? Come on, somebody. Y'all got to look for the blessing in that, right? Huh? Yeah, I'm hot, but I can at least get a little bit of air in there. Come on, right? We can't allow our minds to be taken. And that's just a little example, y'all. I'm trying to help you, right? It's a little example. You can't allow your minds to be taken away by some of those things that don't even matter. It don't hold weight in eternity. Soldiers, not civilians. Come on, worship team. Stay focused. Be strong. Don't give up. Share the truth. Be truthful. And endure suffering. Because it's going to happen. But it's promised in Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good. For those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. All things, the suffering works together. I don't understand it. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I don't understand how he takes the suffering and takes the mess and he brings it together and makes it something beautiful. Huh? I don't know how he does it. But he's the God that gives beauty for ashes. Huh? You're soldiers. Not civilians. Soldiers of Christ Jesus. So as we go through this Memorial Day, man, I want you guys to, to know and remember. Our example has been set by Jesus. Jesus was strong. So read the scriptures, the manliest man I know. He was strong. 
when he could have called legions of angels to come and rescue him. He's like, nope. Jesus always shared the truth, the glorious gospel, right? He always shared truth, even when it was unpopular. That's why they didn't care for him, because he shared the truth. He looked at the religious people one day, he's like, man, y'all ain't nothing but whitewashed tombs. On the outside, you look good. On the inside, you full of dead bodies. Ooh. Easy, Jesus. He always spoke truth. He always shared truth. And come on, y'all. You know he endured suffering. Amen? He endured suffering. He didn't say a word. As they accused him, as they talked about him, as they slapped him, as they spit upon him. Lord, have mercy. I might be able to take the smack, but the spit. We might. Come on, somebody, right? All right. He endured the suffering, the crown of thorns, the robe put around him and mocking him. Yeah, you're a king. Look at you. The carrying of the cross, the whippings and the beatings, hanging on the cross, he endured suffering. Why? For you. For you. For you. For you. For me. So be a good soul. Christ Jesus. What you're going through now, temporary. In the light of eternity. I understand. I understand. If anybody understands, I understand because we don't want to go through it. I'm like, man, I'd rather have a car with working air conditioning. He's like, it's okay. In the light of eternity. God, we thank you for being so good to us. Thank you that you've enlisted us as soldiers in your army. Help us to be good soldiers. Help us to be strong. Help us to share truth. Help us to endure suffering. And always remember we're soldiers and not civilians. God, we love you. Thank you for your word. Bless us today. In Jesus' name. Just right there with your head bowed, eyes still closed. I'm going to ask our prayer team, uh, you guys, if you guys would come up just real quick, our our prayer team. We just want to spend some time just reflecting on what God has spoken into our hearts today and And so let me say this to you, just, just as you think about the Word of God and all that's gone for. If you're here and you say, man, I need strength, I need strength, let us pray with you today. Amen? If you're here today and you say, man, I need to be able to be bold enough to share truth, help me, God, not to withhold truth when truth is needed. Whatever the situation may be, let us pray with you today. And then if you're, you're here and, and you say, God, I need strength to endure suffering. I'm going through something. I need to endure suffering. God, help me to hold on if that's you. We want to pray with you today. So our prayer team is here. And we just like to extend the invitation if you need prayer as the worship team starts to sing. 
we'll ask you not only to worship with us, but if as you don't leave here today without us being able to touch and agree with you in prayer. Amen. Amen. Sing with us. so much for today. God, thank you for encouraging our hearts, God. God, you're so good. You're so good. Bless our day today. Not only our day, bless our week ahead. Help us to charge into the week like good soldiers. God, we love you. We honor you. In Jesus' name. Thank you again for checking out the Hope Company podcast. If you were encouraged by the message today, we would love to hear from you. To connect with us online, visit us at hopeco.org. We hope that you have been refreshed, restored, and released.